Lord Editor. I should mention who Dub Taylor... Uh, every time I mention Dub Taylor's name, the people kind of go... Uh, let, me, let me show you the, the picture of what we're talking about. This gentleman was with us once before. He's one of the veteran character actors here in Hollywood. How many times have you seen that kisser in motion pictures? I have the slightest idea how many pictures he's made. Yeah. That's Dub Taylor. Yeah. That's the gentleman we're talking about. Oh, this has an astounding amount of pictures, like 150 oh, or something. It's incredible. Yeah. Been in picture for years and years and years. Well, I, I've got to ask now that you're, uh, you're sitting here. You're... Well, I would normally not dress like this, but I have to rush what do you right mean out of here. I mean, I have to go to a dinner right after the show. I have to rush to be there. Oh. I'm speaking at the uh, Book Publishers Association. Their big wing ding tonight. The Book Publishers. The Book Association. Publishers have gathered in uh, Los Angeles to let off some steam, sell some books, you're have going a little to... spree. And I'm the uh, main speaker tonight at their dinner. You're going to speak on books, or...? Well, I don't think so. I've written a couple of books, but I'm going to speak on other things. This was, uh... You like that? It's got a little, uh... Those things they used to put on ice cream called jimmies. <laughs> Remember jimmies. those things they sprinkle on ice cream? Do yeah. they call them jimmies? Don't, yeah. Is that what that's... It's, it's sparkles. It's sparkles. Sparkles, yes. yes. On stage, it picks up a little... It's very different. Thank you. Yeah, that doesn't mean that you like it. I didn't say I didn't like it. it uh... I asked you if you liked it, and you didn't answer me before during the commercial. You look like you should be playing third Congo in the lounge act at the, at the club hi-ho. No, that's real different. I, it does sparkle. You're dodging the whole thing. Did you say you were writing a, another book? Yes. Well, is that explaining the first two or what? <laughs> what? First book was a, a bar side companion. That's about right. Compendium of drink stories. Yes. The second book was on my diet, slimming down. Mm -hmm. And the third book is just a book of... Called general. Blowing Up. <laughs> you're mean. You're mean tonight. There's a mean streak in you tonight. Since I don't know why. But I we get that. Title here, maybe, but first this message. But first this message. Yep. Ah. It kind of ties in dovetails my life. in it. Yes. What happened to your hands? You got them locked here. Possibly I can help Thank you. you. My first. No, let's not do that, Willie. Remember that act? Walter Del Wall. All right. My, my first guest this evening. Yes. You will come out right here and sit down. What a good idea. Yes. She is an amateur. She plays. She's a play center for the Eastern Embers, an amateur hockey team in Atlanta. Uh, but the brute happens to be five feet six inches tall, weighs 118 pounds, and she's the only female in an all men's hockey league. Land of Goshen. Would you welcome Miss Patty Lynch? How are you, Patty? Fine. You just are not the Gordie Howe type. No. Uh, you really do play hockey in an all... Men's team and all men's league. Well, then, that's a rough enough sport for men. <laughs> uh, I've seen uh, a few hockey games. I've been in person and on television. I watch them all the time. Uh, how did a young lady like you get into this kind of a sport? I started playing when I well, was home in high school, grade school. And in Atlanta, they asked me if I was... Atlanta's your home? No, uh, oh. Michigan's my home. Atlanta's yeah. where I'm based. They asked me if I would be interested in playing, and I said, definitely. But I wanted to play and not sit on the bench. Yeah, now you say you're, you're based in Atlanta because you fly for one of the, one of the airlines yes. as, as your regular job. And yes. this is something you do... Uh, on the side. Just on the side? Mm -hmm. You really enjoy it? I love it. <laughs> I've never heard of a woman hockey player before. Most women are scared to even play tennis, or at least, at least to go to the net, because they're afraid that the ball is going to hit them in the eye or the nose or something. I played on an all-girls team in Michigan for six years. Was that a little more gentle? No, it was a lot rougher. Oh, really? <laughs> we played, uh, we were the only United States team. Right. We played only Canadian women, and they could range any place from 15 to 35, and they had been skating all their lives. Yeah, that's we right. They, they start early, don't they, in Canada? <laughs> isn't it dangerous? That may sound like a naive question, but isn't it? Aren't you afraid of getting a, a puck in your teeth? <laughs> no, I, got one I in would the nose. be. I'm afraid when I go watch that somebody's going <laughs> to. No, I got one in the nose. Uh, one in the mouth. You have been hit in the. <laughs> first game, the very first game we played Boston in Boston. Didn't that make you decide that maybe this was not something you wanted to do? No. <laughs> it just made me all that... It, it encouraged you more because you realize you're going to get hurt and you realize you're out there with men and you realize that they're rough, but you just have to either watch yourself a little bit more or you know, play along with them. How do your teammates, how do the fellows on the team, feel about having a girl on the team? Well, they said the same thing. Well, first of all, I have to explain that five of the 20 guys on the team had skated before. And in right. Atlanta, 
they thought <coughs> ice was something you cooled beer with. So it was a novelty to everybody. And when they saw that one of the five players that knew how to skate was a girl, they said, well, this was going to encourage everybody all that much more because they didn't want to look bad. Well, Lee. when you get manhandled, and you do, I imagine, in, in, or girl handle or whatever you want to call it, <laughs> but uh, how, how do you avoid getting... Uh, that's why I want to say this. Uh, aren't you afraid of being uh, struck in certain portions of the anatomy? Um, <laughs> that's uh, as, as delicately as I can, I can phrase it. You learn, just like in football or baseball or basketball, how to move and manipulate so you protect that part of your body. And that's the easiest way. You just turn or twist. Or... Oh. And if you can't, you know, you're uh -huh. out there. And... There it is. <laughs> uh, we have a short uh, film clip. I guess showing you about about a minute, showing you in action here. How will we identify you? Uh, um, I'm number zero zero. Zero zero. <laughs> that ought to do it. Okay, Bob, you want to roll the film? You, we'll talk over it, and you can watch the monitors here in the studio. Well, you're easy to recognize. You're the prettiest yeah. member, obviously. <laughs> it's kind of hard with the uniform on. We're in the uh, our new Atlanta stadium called Iceland, which is Eastern's home team. There I am right there with the double zero. Now, those guys are pretty heavy guys, aren't they? Yes. Yeah, so, with your uniforms on, you look twice as big, of course. I am not one of the high scorers of the team. I try and stay back. Well, break oh. Up and... oh, come on. Oh. Oh. Good heavens. You coming back for some more, Dad? I'm going to I'm going to go after him, but I missed. <laughs> yep. I've had enough. <laughs> Did you create a penalty? Did they send you the penalty? No. Or you just, uh, I got the most get out penalties of, there? of the game uh, and of the season. The what did you do? Cut your lip or something? Yeah, get fat lip out of that play. That's kind of nutty. <laughs> now, to the, to be truthful now, do the fellows really kind of treat you a little gingerly because you're a woman? No, not really. They've improved their language and they've cleaned up the locker room a little bit. But uh, <laughs> other than that, uh, my team, they're kind of protective, but they won't go into a fight or a battle or anything like that to protect me because I've proven to the team and to the other teams that I can't handle myself and take care of myself yeah. on the ice. Have you ever been in a brawl? Have you ever hit anybody with a stick or really haul off? And... <laughs> they do had, that I've in hockey. I think, I think spectators me. go to hockey games now really to see... The fight. We had one major fight and it brought both teams off the benches. And uh, I was in it, but I was trying to break it up instead of cause it. That's really incredible. I bit the uh, referee's finger. <laughs> now, how about the locker rooms? What kind of facilities? Uh... Well, in Atlanta, we only have one arena, therefore, there's only one locker room. And we've just kind of shared it between the teams and between our team. And not, the guys are, you know, fairly respectful of my privacy, and I am of theirs. Well, I... I guess that's, that's the gentlemanly thing to do. Uh, in other words, they just turn away discreetly. And uh, because I know when they had they had a problem with the, with no. the jockeys, uh, they had to have a. Well, excuse me. Uh, I, I just have my boyfriend sitting next to me. Oh, your boyfriend uh, yes. plays for the team too. Yes. Well, that's a big help, isn't it? Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Do you plan? You don't plan to make this any kind of a career. There's no such thing as there is a woman's professional hockey league? No, I think I'm too old anyway. Yeah. What do you mean too old? You're a young girl. <laughs> Are you a good hockey player? Yes. I'm good for Atlanta. That's, that's really incredible. And you've never been really injured seriously? No. Somebody says, says you were going to show me something. Uh, a, a shot or something? Or okay, Can you do that without being on the ice? Uh, yes, we can try. Have you ever been to hockey school? Have I ever been to hockey school? <laughs> I had, I had no reason to go. Uh, no, I really haven't been to hockey school. Maybe you could show me a couple of we'll try a shots shot or something. Rich, rich shot. Sure, I know nothing. Let me sell some okay. something here first, okay. and uh, we'll do this. What, what do you mean, no? <laughs> How about this one? <laughs> Later. No props. No, I hold nothing. If you think all ice cream bars are alike, you got another thing coming. Watch this.
you just joined us, the uh, pretty young lady on my right, believe it or not, plays with the, what is that, the burning embers? <laughs> slow burning flames. Oh, the slow burning flames. Which is... <laughs> that was pretty close, the burning embers <laughs> of the eastern... Uh, Eastern Embers. Yeah, and you're going to show me a couple of simple moves here. Yes, yes right. we're going to try. I saw this back here. Now, you don't wear something like this, do you? No, I should, but uh, unfortunately... This I is just obviously a, a laminated plastic, a very high-impact type of thing. This is what the goalie wears? The goalie wears. It's called a full-face mask. <laughs> That's weird-looking. I should probably wear that just doing this, but I don't think I will. Um, shall we... Well, here we are at the rink. <laughs> um, I'm going to wear gloves. Why is that? It's a, it's a brutal sport. <laughs> does it hurt your hands if you don't use gloves? Yes, it does. Um, unfortunately. <laughs> Give me the gloves. <laughs> you want one? No, I don't okay, think so. Okay, we can so. switch off. I have, but now this I have never done in my life. I've okay. never held a hockey stick in my it's life. It's very much like a golf stick. Well, no, it's a lot longer yeah. than a golf stick. <laughs> Okay. What are you going to do? First thing, um, you try and hit the is that, net. Is that the normal size goal? No, it's, that's a little small. But, right. uh, these are white pucks, which normally they're black. Right. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to show you a, um, a slap shot. Slap shot. Which is what you're trying to come down from the ice. Um, the puck is ahead of you at all, you know, and a slap shot. Somebody shot it up there, so you want to come down with your full force and shoot it right in. Come. We'll do that again. Uh, Keep the puck ahead of you. Keep the puck ahead of you. Put your strong hand, your right Words hand. Words to live by. <laughs> your strong hand, which would be your right hand most likely. The yeah. top of the stick. Well, can't I do it the other way? Huh? I can't you, do yes. it from the right? Yes. Okay. I feel more comfortable. Okay. Of course, the puck doesn't always come to you. <laughs> I'd run around at the other side. I can't get <laughs> no, you know, you <laughs> No. Okay, this is not a golf club. This what? is a hockey stick. How do so I hold it? Up? Your strong hand, which would be your uh, left hand, up at the top. Yeah. Okay, and then your your. I don't, but I don't hold no, it. No, down here. Oh, that's my <laughs> problem right there. <laughs> now, how, what? Okay, bring it back from behind you. The puck is in front of you, up there. You're skating into it. What's it doing up there? Well, some of you shot it up there. You're oh, skating into shot. it. You're supposed to be skating into it. Full skating force. Into it full force. And everybody's going to come and cram, cram into you in a minute. So right. You have care. to get your shot off. Okay. Bring your hand down farther on the stick. Down here. Yeah, farther. Bend over. Oh, come into it like this. Oh, then, then you bring your hand up. Oh, otherwise, you're down like this. Right. You come into it with your hand down. What? Up the top with the stick. Okay, got it. No. <laughs> That's, that's called a fan That's shot. a defensive move. <laughs> that's a defensive move to throw the other player, you see. Right, off okay. Off your stride. That's right. <laughs> do that. Would you do that again okay. for me? Uh, You're skating into the puck. Skating into the puck. Here we you are bring at the your, puck. Bring your shot. Curve it. Ooh. Ah, sure. <laughs> the other end of the stick. <laughs> You know where I'm going to use it, don't you? Just... Mr. Class. <laughs> what? Well, what am I holding it here for? I can't do this. You have to get your momentum on the puck. Oh, I see. And then... And then, but then you bring it up in your hand and you cup the puck. Uh, okay. Now I got it. <laughs> There you go. In other words, this way. That's right. <laughs> and you don't want to, you know, slice it like a, you know, golf. You want to just slowly swoop it. Swoop it. Swoop it. Okay. <laughs> no. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> gloves. <laughs> Damn, that hurts. <laughs> Give me the gloves. Okay. <laughs> Oh, no, there's a lot of impact in there, isn't there? Yes, there is. You want to try it from the other side? <laughs> yeah, maybe from the left okay. side. I think that's part of the problem. Okay, over here. There you go. There you go. Is that right? No, you're on the wrong side. I'm on the wrong side. Oh, I see. There you go. Ah. There you go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Your baddie's supposed to be facing towards where you're shooting. So turn around this way. You're skating that way. The puck's ahead of you. 
Yeah. Okay. Now take it. Actually, I'm right-handed. Okay, well, you're using the wrong stick. See, that lie is curved for left-handed. <laughs> so you... It's going the wrong way. Yeah, I got a bad stick here. <laughs> Obviously, an inferior piece of equipment. <laughs> well, come in. I'm coming in, right? Come in, Okay. <laughs> The bones inside my arm are still going. <laughs> oh, now I see why they wear those gloves. It takes up the uh, uh, hurt. to hurt the pain. <laughs> We'll take a brief pause for this message of interest, and Lauren Green will be with us. And Charles Roden and Dub Taylor.